All right, so welcome everybody. It is the first lobby of the day, and we are doing red pets only. These are things that are like primarily red. So, uh, yeah, woodpecker is in the pack, but I'm not including it because it is not mostly red. It's basically anything on this like left side. So anything right down here, and then this guy. So uh, those are all the things you're allowed. Oh no, wait, warthog as well. He is also allowed. He's just like a little bit dim at the moment. But uh, yeah, all of those, this and this. When you end your turn, you can buy and sell during your turns any food you want, including honey and banana. And you are allowed to slot if you find it. So uh, yeah, those are the rules. Good luck, everyone. Uh, kind of tempted to buy an apple, actually. Let me freeze that. <laughs> Pancake, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Buy that, freeze this. Then we can get even more later. And let's see, we will be the golden abs. Fire ant red or not, nah, it's orange, right? I included it. It's weird, because when I tried... Again, you need to draw lines somewhere, and I'm including it. Uh, let's just keep buffing this. I feel like I'm okay with one. Like, it's the only red thing at this tier, so... <laughs> I might as well just, like, get invested. And I might be able to roll and buy something else, too. No, I can't. Alright, show me a sloth. I I don't freeze these. Like I could maybe go for like a full salamander team or something. A full starfish team also seems interesting. Octopus just seems good. Now I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna try and pivot. I think. <laughs> Robot dogs just flooding the chat with void balls. The void is hungry. Does the blood in the fly count as red? No, there isn't even a fly. Oh, do you mean this? No, it does not. <laughs> I said, it has to be like mostly red, so it's all these things on the left side. Uh, the reason why I included some stuff like bedfish and turkey and stuff is because they're like, there may be some use for it. There are three cheeses. Nah. Better fish is not red, no. I, I, like I said, it's everything on this left column. It's just everything on this left column, including frigate bird, and I'm going to say yes to warthog as well, but I don't know. You can maybe debate me on that one. Debate me. I'd rather find more Salamanders. Uh, friend bought, if it's a starter battle pet, a game plus one attack. So I could maybe do that, but instead I'm going to buy sell this just once and put it on here. Yeah, it's food bought, not like food bought for that. But I'm going to keep rolling. I want to find these. Yes. One more? No. <laughs> if I could get this th going though, if I can find like three of these, then I am more than happy to scale with that until the end of the game. Like, I think the thing that makes the most sense is either doing a starfish build or a salamander build. I'd love to have something like a, an octopus in here, but it would take a while to get, so maybe I scale up a few other things, then buy that later. Oh yeah, and betfish is two words, I think, where it is. Yeah. You took the crab! <gasps> How could you? <laughs> nah, I know it's going to be a little bit uh, janky to start, and I'm not going to scale yet. Like, I still want to find... There we go. Okay. Uh, so, this is on buy, right? Yeah, so it's not like I can buy, sell that, and then find another one. And I don't think I'm going to be going for the things at this tier, so... Yeah, I'll leave that behind. I think I'm ready, though. Now I think I start buying and selling every... Um, every start of battle pet I see. And I'm hoping I put enough in the pack, because I can't remember when I made this. I'm seeing a few, actually. There's, like, a load down here. Yeah, same with sell pets. Like, I think I did put every, like... You know, decent cell pack in the pack. Every cell pet in the pack. You thought it was red? Shame. These are orange. Crabs aren't red. Why are so many people using crabs? Crabs seems like the same color. But I, I said this at the start. It's just this left column. If you can't work it out, then it's just those things. Because those are the, like, you know, the obvious ones anyway. I'm glad I'm not losing more HP here. That's almost tempting, just so I can do that, but yeah. We start doing these. First start to battle thing. Bye. Can't really use any of these. We roll. Uh, I think I will buy sell the owl, maybe. As long as it doesn't hit the ladybug, I'm fine. Nice. Okay. And then, I don't know. I could buy sell the stoat, just to see if I can, like, end on something. If it's this, then it's kind of cool. Nothing else really matters, though. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's, it's one gold. Let's see what it turns into. Mupeka. Not allowed, by the way. Like, it has a red head, but it's not meant to be here. 
And yeah, what do I do with an owl? Again, it's like two gold for two two, but if it's this is bad, and it's like any of these are it's like worse. I'm gonna roll it. Okay. There we go. Is better fish allowed? No, it is not red. Like I said, it's if you open up the pet pack thing, then it's everything on the far left column. That is that is it. Like if you can't see the other things, it's all of these plus frigate bird and warthog. Like those are the things. Uh, lots of decent things here though. I would have loved to have found another one because like you know these are already overtaking the ladybug, but no idea when I'm going to get another one of those. Going to leave garlic because I need better equipment. This will be sold in a second. I create the woodpecker. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. I could maybe find um, turtle armor for these later, like next turn, but I think it definitely makes sense to go for pepper first, or maybe try and do some loll lollipop stuff with them. You love that killing a blobfish gives you ladybug triggers. It is pretty nice that it's just buy like any food. It's not like uh, most of the other ones where you have to specifically buy food for it. <laughs> so many frigate, like frigate birds around, and these lots of ladybirds. Mm-hmm. Like, do I just keep buy selling all of these? I really want to find another salamander soon. Maybe I do this for now and then I roll a lot. I could look, I could freeze seahorse and eel. I'm gonna roll a little bit to see if I can find another one. Or maybe even a turtle. I really do feel like I need equipment on these, because if anyone has any summons and just slightly because, like, these are kind of impressive when you look at their um, attack, but they all trade with, like, a 5-5, five, 4-4, five, four, four, six, six. And if they have, like, extra summons off them, then that'd be very scary for me. So, <laughs> I definitely need to do something. Octopus is pink. We're including it. I definitely say it's red. Again, we need to draw a line somewhere, and that's where I'm drawing the line. What about fire ants? I Left column. Left column is everything that's allowed. Yeah, see, like, this one has summons. But I actually broke my way through, so it's still okay. Oh, maybe I do just keep by selling these. Like, I need to do something. At least next turn I can find, um, you know, pepper or something and get equipment on these. Uh, I can take a mole, maybe. It's like 2-2. Two, two. It's actually better than these. No, it's not. <laughs> Keep rolling. I'll find another one. I'm sure. I don't. I don't want any of this. I could like end on one of these if I had more gold. But uh, plantipus. No, your attack things. I think about crow either. He's a start a battle, but nah. I, I'm fine. I really want to find another salamander. Only one with five hearts. Apparently so. Yeah, it's still like a massive mix of stuff here. That <laughs> I guess that was like a slow sell there. So what is this? Thing? Why did one of the teams have uh, three frigate birds? Do they actually have like synergy with that thing? Oh, there you go. I have been jinxed. Okay, chocolates. Uh, probably not. I don't think I really need to chocolate these. Or rather, like I could. I really need to find peppers this turn though, so I will roll for that. Uh, okay, well a zebra is very hard to turn down, so I will buy sell that. Don't love that it hit there. Come on. No. Uh, I keep rolling. Peppers, nice. I almost want to sell the ladybug just to get this light now. But <laughs> I will stay strong. I'll also start freezing my um my things again. Okay. Oh, I still gold. Okay, well, there's a load of starter battle abilities. Can <laughs> only equip a red pepper. That'd be pretty funny. It's not even in the pack. I should have done that. I think I did like actively go through when I started to try and add um, red food, and then I realized most of it just didn't work very well. Like, you know, didn't have like any good synergy with the things, but I think red pepper would have been a, a good choice. Alright, so let's take these... Uh, should have bought and sold first, actually, because I could have bought and sold another one of these. No. I'm flipping that soon, I think. 
<laughs> I feel like I have to. Like, I have to do it at some points. And I could either wait until there were like 50 50s, but when that happens, then. Well, not 50 50s, but like 54s. But when that happens, when I flip them, they're suddenly going to be useless. So maybe I do it closer to like, you know, 40 attack or something and one by one. I don't know. I feel like if I like flip this or something, then I suddenly have an 834 with Pepper, and that is not going to do much of anything. Like, you know, it's not going to get one shot, so the Pepper's going to do nothing. And uh, 8 attack in this lobby is probably going to not help out too much either. That should not be on the team. Okay, Pepper, very good. Very, very helpful. I, I think I start buying these, honestly. Like, I think I am fine with that. Let's buy, sell a couple of these, and on a chocolate. Uh, let's throw it on you. You're like the smallest. So I'll do that. So I'm still keeping these frozen, but like, I'm really hoping another one shows up at some point. Like, I need something else on this team that isn't just a ladybug. Because this isn't getting any stronger, except when it, like, happens to eat, like, you know, zebra buffs or something, when I don't want it to. And no, octopus is red. In my opinion, it is red in terms of, like, stuff. If you put it against, like, any of the actual pink pets, like, you know, worm, flamingo, then it looks very red. But, you know, there's a load of stuff you can take out, because, like, you know, this isn't red, that isn't red. I don't know, maybe that isn't red, because it's, like, a darker color. Again, you just need to draw a line somewhere, and I think I made it clear where they are for me. Yeah, not touching cow. This is also start a battle, so... Sure, I guess. Uh, uh wait. Nah, leave it. <laughs> uh, that, wait, that could actually be kind of useful, because this is going to be scaling, like, very slowly. Yeah, you know what, if I sell another one of these, then just, like, give it a stake. But I do need to find more flippy things soon, because these things are almost 50 attack. You <laughs> have the time and other swordfish. Are the fights taking that long? Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> hey, someone does have a warthog. I've never had a proper game with a warthog. I know I've bought a few in Arena, but like, they never... I don't know. I don't know, they're weird. Warthog fire ants. Yeah, I know there's synergy for it. I just, I've never done it. Like, not a good one, at least. I will take a draw. <laughs> I will gladly take a draw, anything that's not getting me killed. Uh, probably gonna leave Melon. Like, it could be good for that one later. Could also just be good to, like... Oh, wait, that is something I could do. I could get them all to, like, um, you know, near 50 attacks, swap them over, and then just give them all peanuts. And then I need to give them a bit more attacks that are, like, above 20, but... You know, I can still just do some buying and selling to get that to work. Uh, these are also start of battle, but let's roll a bit. I really don't try and find um, some swappy things. Come on. I don't know whether I should be like freezing any of these, because like, there are so many start of battles, but I also just want another salamander. Okay, you know what? Freeze that. We'll buy sell it next turn. Is there any reason to buy sell this? Not really. I could maybe get some extra money, but... Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so next turn, I think that is when I swap another one and I start trying to scale this attack up. And a loss, okay. And Robo Dog, I can't like like there's no point selling stuff early and stuff if I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to explain. Guys, okay. If anyone is confused, only use this far left column. There are a couple of things that are allowed outside of that, but like, they shouldn't matter. Just left column. Left column. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I still don't know. I'll buy and sell a couple of things, Ed. I mean, I could do another one, but this thing is capped out, so I don't feel good about it. I'm just gonna keep rolling. I'm not gonna freeze these. I'm still hoping to find another one or something. Don't want that. Uh, another lollipop. I mean, if I do, I'm kind of embracing that I'm going to lose a few turns. But also, like, that thing is... <laughs> that thing is kind of done. I'm hoping I do find a, a, a Warus soon, though. Ooh, well, I don't draw against that if I swap this over, but I really do want to do it, so that is what I'm doing. 
Okay, you'll start a battle. I will buy. Uh, another ladybug. No. Let's see though. I can buy sell links then buy sell eel. Freeze chopper maybe. I just can't tell if it's worth it. Feels bad. Okay, I don't want that though. So you're a start a battle. You'll start a battle. Swap these around maybe. Maybe throw that in front so it can like pop something. I'm not sure though. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably buying this next turn. I think uh, leveling this one isn't too bad. Starfish is really good in this pack. Yeah, I can see it being. Like, Starfish and Salamander seem to be, like, the only, like, you know, permanent scaling you can really get. So, they're both pretty decent. And obviously it makes more sense to, like, lock in on one instead of trying to do both. Anyway, let's get this. Warthog. It is allowed, and, like, it may be better than my Ladybug, but... I don't know, I, I still just don't have a way to use that. Just keep embracing the scaling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you're also starting a battle, I forgot about that. I may have um, skipped some Mikats, I'm not sure. I don't know, like these are getting better, but like these, these definitely need different equipment now, and I'd rather it be peanuts. <laughs> I have no idea where to pull that in. Can pepper not be more useful than steak? I, maybe? I don't want the steak though. <laughs> this is the problem, like I never have any idea what to do because I don't want to replace their equipment with other bad equipment when I could get good equipment instead. I just can't find good equipment. Because you know, I can buy slightly better stuff, but it's not stuff that I want. It's like why, I don't know, like why not sell this just for a normal octopus when I can do other things, but... Uh, I think I'll probably buy the Blurring Dogs Plus Rights. Yeah, it's still decent. And this is fine, I think. Yeah, this is just actually get something here. So you can pop a shield, you might be able to trade, so I'm gonna swap these two around. And I guess I'm still buy selling these. Okay. We haven't done Rainbow for a long time. I'm gonna say no, just because we have enough trouble just telling what pets are red. And I'd have to remake the pack, because it's, um, the last time we did it was before Golden Pack. So it is too messy. It's good to sell Stoughton Oyster shows up. Yeah, that's gotta be, like, great value, right? Get, like, two free gold or something? Why are crabs not red? Because they're obviously not red! They're clearly orange! I don't know if people have, like, different screens or something. Oh, anyway, top five. I'll take that. Uh, but yeah, GG's guys, GG's. What if you cook them? I mean, maybe they are. But like, 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 that is orange. That is like the definition of orange. Like, it's basically the same color as shrimp, but like these are as orange as orange can get. But anyway, that was the first one, and we'll be doing something that's less, less up for opinion and more factual, so let's find something like that. Your top four. Wish you luck, Terry. Also, Rainbow sounds cool. Maybe remove like pack one stuff. I don't know. I don't really know what that means. Rainbow used to be cool, yeah, but it's 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 really hard with cheetahs. Like no one knows what color anything is, and uh, yeah, it's a problem. It's a very big problem. Anyway, do we want to do something like frogs only? Turtle only? We have done that once. Oh, five of a kind. Yeah, I missed that. But I, I need pack ideas if we're doing this. Five of a kind. Turtle only. I'm just trying to, like, keep a note. What are my hours on sap? I'm at, like, 600. Let's see. Yeah, five, five, nine, six point four hours. So, <laughs> almost 600. So, definitely over that if I include, like, uh, test server and stuff like that. Amphibians. I still don't know what an amphibian is, so I'd have to leave it. I have a kind with a non shopped chaotic. It that's not possible though, right? Oyster only, no, no, no. No, you mean the non shop pet pack? I don't really see a reason for it. If you get enough avocados to this. 
I mean, maybe you could, actually, yeah, yeah. You could probably do it with um a wolf actually, because you just need to like buy two wolves and then pill both, and that's like eight gold for five pigs. So that actually is doable without avocados. But I <laughs> I don't know how much people would enjoy that. Self buffing pets only. I don't really like scalar type stuff because it gets very um, you, you know, there's no battle ability, so you just kind of hit the stat cap really quick. And crab only. Nah, I think we're okay with that. Okay, let's maybe try just like a turtle pack five of a kind only. Would we be happy with that? Five of a kind means you can only um. Well, we wouldn't be doing. Yeah, sorry, I, I've got my head mixed up, but I wouldn't be doing a um. I can't. Five of a kind only can't can't exist, so I wouldn't recommend that. But it's like you can only use one type of pet. So like you know, if you have a pig on your team, you can only have pigs on your team. Pain pets only. I'll write it down. I can't remember if I made a pack for that recently. Domesticated? No. I, I again, way too much uh, random stuff. Same with farm animals. And robot dog. What is your amazing idea? Parrot chains again. Again, I need like recommendations for packs for doing this. One of a kind seems fun. All right, we'll just do that with the turtle pack then. So I'm gonna call it kind. But yeah, I need to find a better way to label this. So, oh, yeah, same pets only. Uh, let me find a mirror emoji or something. Oh, I can't see the mirror emoji. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have these like <laughs> these orbs in my title. I hope for some people they can actually see what it is. Buses are totally domesticated. I mean, I wouldn't say they're not. They're very, like, obedient. Pets with food mentioned in their ability. See, I like that a lot more than just, um... I mean, if, it, if we're going directly for that, I'm assuming we wouldn't include stuff like turtle or things that give, like, food equipment, because it doesn't say the word food. Not a clue, just want to see if you would respond. Wow. Thank you. They look like mirrors. They do not to me. When I um like Googled it, it just came up as like that, you know, little square thing that shows that I can't actually see the emoji. And when I posted them into OBS, they just look like uh, white circles. How does this work? When you have a pet on your team, you can only have that type of pet. So if you have a pig, you can only have pigs on your team. If you have a mosquito, only mosquitoes on your team. You are allowed to pivot, so if you want to like buy some other thing, you can do that, but you need to sell everything that isn't that new pet. And you're, you know, you're allowed to buy, sell, and have whatever equipment you want, but... Yeah, only one type of pet on your team at any one time. And Slothathon is not happening. Pebbles, hello, welcome. Only pets shown on pack icons, like Turtle, Starfish, Puffy, and Tiger. That would, like, just turn into starfish or puppy teams, right? I like the idea, but I don't think it'd end up being that interesting. Because, like, <laughs> scaling is always going to be a lot stronger than any of the rest of it. You have a good one? Is it a good one like Robo has, where you then don't say anything? Poor Golden Retriever. Yeah, it, it's still really sad you can't get that. Slug only 30 second timer. You know what? That's like chaotic enough that I'm in. Uh, slug 30 sec. Anyway, I'm giving this another like 15 seconds, then we're going. What if you check the icons of your custom pack right now and those are the only pets allowed? Nah, it, it's again, it's too messy. I don't want people to have to like click on a, a list in chat to know what they're allowed to use. Because it'll just be non stop people asking and people cheating. <laughs> it's, it's better to just leave it. New sloth one idea. You have to get a sloth ribbon for each sub. What? I can't even get one. Anyway, yeah, we've been at like 40. Well, we were above 42 for a while, but yeah, let's go. Okay. Guys, second lobby, I think. We are doing same pets only. This is basically the five of a kind idea. So, like, everything on your team has to be the same thing. You are allowed to have empty slots, so you're allowed to just have like one thing or two things, whatever. But they all have to be the same thing. So, if I buy these ants, I can only have ants. And that is exactly what I'm going to do to start. And uh, yeah, if I wanted to pivot, you are allowed to do that, but you need to do it completely. So for now, as long as I have ants on my team, I can only have ants on my team. 
if I say, I don't know, found a couple of blowfish later and wanted to use those instead, I'd have to sell or pill or, you know, get rid of all my things that aren't blowfish at that stage. Uh, let's get a honey, though, because I think that's going to be a little bit useful as well. And we will be the bad doggies. Even though I'm probably not having any of these doggies on my team. You're back from showering and have a broken ankle. I hope that is not true. The second part, at least. But <laughs> welcome back, Pancake. Hope your ankle's okay. Fear your mosquito team. Did you get, like, triple mosquitoes at the start? I am very afraid. I mean, to be fair, I didn't used to... Oh, no, it's that single otter. Oh, no. I mean, otters could be, like, cool scaling, but... Yeah, I'm gonna buy all this. Get some stats. Freeze, honey. I can maybe take another one of these. Yeah. Okay. So, my thinking with the ants... First of all, I found two of them on my first turn, so I was like, well... Easy take. But also, they're one of the easier things to pivot with, because I can just, like, combine... Well, the combination doesn't matter so much, but... I can, you know, combine and then pill it onto something else whenever I do pivot. And then I can, like, move a lot of stats onto the stuff I have into new things. Another thing that could have been good would, would have been ducks, though. Because you maybe could have had, like, a full team of ducks and then, you know, sold five for, like, three peacocks. Could have been nice. Combination actually hurts you. Yeah, it depends how long you keep your stuff for. If I, like, stuck with my ant team forever, then, you know, <laughs> combining new ones on top aren't really a problem. Let's have a little look through these teams, though. Make sure everyone's following the rules. I did see Mosquito Double Otter. That is not allowed. Thankfully, this is still going. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of this. Just keep looking for ants, try and find some stats. Probably just going to keep buying and selling otters, actually, while they're here. Uh, <laughs> buy sell this as well. I don't know how much I need, like, HP, but it's, like, similar value. Oh, all right, well, let's buy one of these, then. Like, try and get a good trade. I'm not going to swap out for tier 2s. I think like tier 4 is probably the earliest I'd go for. Because like there's some decent stuff here. Imagine going for like a full hippo team or maybe a full deer team. Full squirrel team even. Like you can do that. But I think the scaler stuff at tier 5 onwards is probably the smartest play. So, you know, lots of monkeys, lots of seals, black cats. Any of those would be really good. Dragon would be insane. You'd <laughs> scale very fast with that. You already got 5 of a kind full cat team, really. Wait. No, wait, what do you mean? Do you mean like ages ago? That was, that was a very close fight. Sorry, Falcon. You tried to pivot, but no luck on rolling. Still only have one. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Can I? Oh, I mean, I'll do this. This stats, at least. I don't know whether I take another meat bone or not. Like, how big are people's teams? <laughs> you need to get some honey on there. Like, it's a decent team, but, like, you're not going to win if you go against summoners. I don't know whether I take a meat bone or not. Like, over one of these. I kind of want to just keep rolling. Come on, where are my other spiders? They should be out here somewhere. Can you buy a giraffe, then insta-sell? I need to hear the placement noise, please, and thank you. No, that's like two gold that I could be using for other things. Couldn't find honey yet. I'm assuming you're the hedgehog team. Maybe not. Well. <laughs> Either way, I wish you luck if you're looking for it. Uh, do we need garlic? Salad, yes. More salad, please. More salad? More ants? Any of it? I guess I'll buy some of these. I'm gonna leave the other otter, but... <laughs> I don't know. This is not what I wanted. I thought I'd had so many more ants by now. Like, I found these three ants in the first, like, couple of turns, and, uh... I don't know. I've been, I feel like I've been... Not hard rolling, but rolling a lot. Thought I would have found more by now. Your pigs have played against mosquito teams two times? Oh, no. You pivoted with a bad animal. You're dumb. Like, look at this team. This is actually, like, doing work. If you get, like, great luck and keep finding otters, then that actually may, like, pull you through. Like, really far. No, I lost. No, I needed that HP. If I just had, like, one more ant or just bigger stats, would have been fine. 
Yeah, okay, so ants don't exist. That's unfortunate, but, you know. Uh, they also, like, also only have three of these, and they're not even high level, so I may abandon my idea of, like, combining and pilling, and instead just try and find as many cans as possible. I really wish these were bigger. Like, this is... <laughs> Damn, that is, that is a large hippo. This is also a very scary team. At least they don't have garlic or anything, but... Mm. Oh my god, the penguin pivot. That is brave. It's possible, but like that is very brave. It's going to take a lot for you to get that like off the ground, I think. I like this squirrel one as well. And those are early too. We're not even at tier 4. They found two squirrels? No, wait. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, Froggy. I thought I was going to get eaten, but like I have very large ants, right? I could dip it. It could be cool. Can maybe freeze them? Because I'm probably not going to be buying much else here. Like, hippos could be cool. I doubt skunks really do that much. I could maybe do a worm team, but... I want to look for cans, yes. And I am more than happy to do this as well. Or maybe on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, leave pair. I don't want to invest in these. I need to get ready to pivot. So hopefully... This will be fine. <laughs> Pancake! Thank you for the sub! Wade, do you hate me? Who's Wade? If you're talking to me, then no, I definitely don't hate you, Pancake. Pancake shot. Maybe we need like a separate, a separate alert for Pancakes, Pancake subs. Your dream. You want five sheep before you die. I'm sure you can do that. Oh wait. No, it is a loss. No. Oh, that was like two things. Or if I had like you know one more stat, I would have been fine. I'm freezing the deer. I'm not pivoting with that. I'll buy one of these, but I want to find it. I don't want cans, dude. I want cans, but it's going to take a while before I can even get there. So I might as well, like, try and keep myself alive for a bit longer, and then hopefully I can find, like, a load of monkeys next turn and not be dead. But the fact that I've lost 2 HP already... I don't know. I'm not feeling great. Fun fact, you still only have one cricket. Oh, and see you later, Pancake. Your Wi-Fi and Valo is killing you. What does that mean? <laughs> it was Valo. When I see Valo, I just think Valorant. Can't believe Kino won't spend two gold for his amazing mod. This is two gold that will get me killed, Robodog. If you want to hear it, then you can maybe tip. <laughs> it is Valorant? What do you mean Valorant's like killing your Wi-Fi? Oh no, your Wi-Fi and Valorant is killing you. Wait, this is a draw. It's not level 2. Safe. I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> dearie me. Close up, Kino. Uh, so yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> right. What do I do here, then? Because I don't think freezing chocolate is good. I can maybe go for, like, sushi and try and find lizard seals. Monkeys are a maybe. Oh, scorpions? Scorpions? How would that do? Things it wouldn't scale. If I'm going against people with abilities, then it'd be really scary. I'd actually like lose to the sheep team if that's still alive. Maybe try it. Oh god, I'm freezing too many things. Okay, monkey's not happening. I think I go for the seal team. I <laughs> I am very worried though. I like having the cows frozen, but they actually kind of suck if I only have one seal. If I can find two more seals and run triple seal, then this could be amazing. Squirrel didn't work. Yeah. yeah, like pivoting this is always going to be difficult. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you though. And again, <laughs> no, it's always like 1 HP. I'm, I'm just going to do it. Let's just make room. Unfreeze one of these, but I need another seal. If I'm going to die, I'm just going to die. Okay. Leave, leave it, leave that. Just get stuff on the team. Next turn, I can maybe try and not be dead. <laughs> I think chili is maybe fine. Another cow is nice. I think these are my things next turn then. I think the only thing I could have done to maybe, like, you know, not die against the team is maybe try and get a full team of scorpions, but then I wouldn't actually be scaling, and if they don't get very big very fast, then I definitely lose to any sort of sniper team. Giraffe. 
Definitely missed it. You could put seal out release cow and hope the seal lands on the ants. No, I, I could, but that wouldn't be worth it. Like that, It would be way better to just buy sell the cow and put the milk directly on the ants. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to die here. I lost too much HP to, like, nothing. Uh, I'll freeze a pizza. I do need to try and get, like, equipment if I'm not going to be dead this turn, though. But let's see, maybe I'll get lucky and go against someone else that pivoted recently and there's a successful monkey team. Uh, yeah, no, my bet is on this team. <laughs> Whoever this is, I, I think they're going to end up winning. And I don't think I'll be around to see it. Oh, damn, there's another one! Okay, okay, Falcon is also doing amazing, but he has no HP, so he may just die. Hmm. I've had a snail frozen for eight turns. Yo, what's up? Hello! Would five one-up scorpions be any good? I think it'd be pretty good, yeah. The only issue is I can't buy all of that in one turn. And <laughs> but, Oh, I'm not dead. Hold on. I can still scale. I actually thought that was the end there, so I'm <laughs> happy to still be here. And I'm just going to buy this, like... I'm going to get to buy like, one more food and honey. Honey? What would honey help me against? I don't know. I mean, it's like buying a pair at least, so it's something. So I guess I will buy this just to have something on the team. Was really hoping for better equipment though. If that had turned into like a steak or a melon, even more chili I would have taken. Could have been okay. You want to get the monkey team somehow? Wait, which monkey team? Do you mean Falcon or? Oh, I guess this one. Falcon's still in it. But yeah, the thing is, the thing about the monkey team is that it's not like overpowered yet. But the point is, they already have, like, all the scaling they need. So they just need to get, like, good equipment on here, find more monkeys, and then, you know. Like, it's an initial investment. Like, you don't need to keep buying to stay alive. <laughs> Terry, you got me. Lovely squirrel team. Uh, yeah, GG's, guys. I wish everyone luck. Sorry, it's fine. It's fine. I, I pivoted too late, I think. Well, not too late. I pivoted at a good time. I just didn't have, um... HP, and then I didn't like actually find the things I needed when I sold everything, so. Can we do one more? Uh, not of the same thing, no. We'll be doing more lobbies, just not that. But, because there is still a lot of people in that last one, I may take a break while I set up this one. <laughs> 2 HP from turn 7. See, that's really rough. Because you're going to lose HP when you try and pivot. It's never going to be, like, an easy thing. So ideally, you'd have, like, you know, Four or five HP when you try and pivot, and then you can, you know, tank the loss while you, like, stabilize. I was close to stabilizing, but I would have needed <laughs> equipment on them. Steak or melon, preferably. But, uh, yeah, so we've done five of a kind. I'm thinking... I do want to do the Slug 30 second one, but I may save that for last. So I'm thinking either Hedgehogs and Blowfish only, uh, Parrot Chains or Paint Pets? Or turtles? Maybe we can just do a, um... Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna do a poll for this, I think. Cow only 30 seconds. Not cows, no. Hold on. I won't be able to see chat for a bit. I am... making a thing. Alright. What should we do next? So... Hedgehogs and... Blowfish. Paint pets. Parrot, chains, and what was the other one? Turtle only. Turtles. So these are all like, you know, the same thing but only. I'm going to set it to two minutes and then I'm going to take a little break. That reminds me, have you upgraded me to Big Daddy more on YouTube? I don't think so because I couldn't, like, I tried looking at it and I saw the menu but I didn't know how to add you. Because like, whenever I put in your, you know, your YouTube name thing, it wouldn't pop up with anything. And I couldn't just copy it from the other box, so I didn't know how to do it. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute, so be back soon. Okay. 
I'm back. And by the way, creepy, I saw your hydrate like just as I muted my mic, so I did drink. Uh, but yeah, it looks like parachains won, fifty-six percent. Did we do parachains last week? We've done a lot of things before, but like, I don't know, it's a fun one. I like parachains. So uh, next question: Are we just doing it in here, or do we try and find somewhere else? It's in the weekly as well. Are there any interesting things in here though? Or should I just make like a <laughs> a filler pack? I can like try and make a custom one. And BRB, thank you. You want the good old days of hedge and blow? I mean, we did that recently as well. Like we did that like two streams ago, I think. You know, sap streams. <laughs> people to talk on the phone on the bus. Yeah, I've never really understood that. Like, I'm already very, like, self-conscious when I'm talking, like, loudly in public on the phone or something. But then some people just seem to, like, they do it, like, on a speaker, you know? Like, they want people to hear. Weekly good IMO. Well, that's the only info I've had, so... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, Parrot Chain Weekly would be fun. All right, let's do that, then. <laughs> All right, so we're doing Parrot Chains on the Weekly. Parrot. Can I place one pet before I unlock the parrot? No, so the idea is we should wait until we have at least one parrot, I think. I don't know, do you, do you guys have a preference? The way we've done it before is, um, as soon as you have one parrot, you're allowed to take another thing, but we usually say no, no anything until the first parrot. Wait till parrots, yeah, wait. Okay, we'll stick with that then. So yeah, the idea is, as soon as you have a parrot on your team, you are allowed to have one other non-parrot thing. But... Yeah. <laughs> Once you have one parrot, you're allowed to have one other thing, and then everything else can be either empty or parrots. Or sloths. Sloths you can put wherever you want. They can be your parrots, or they can be your one other thing. You remember the last time you played Five of a Kind, where you got five pre nerf stegos? Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty rough. <laughs> for like everyone else. Any tips for good pets in front of parrots? No, because we're on the weekly and I actually don't know what's in here. I did not look very deeply. Too bad there aren't guinea pigs on the weekly. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, super. Uh, I, I just can't handle people being loud in public. Like, I swear, when I, was, when I was at like uni, I used to have to get the trains between like, you know, home and uni and the number of people that would just have like you know music coming out there like phone loud you know they're not like wearing a headset or anything they just have, like have it playing for everyone else to hear it's just insane never understood it how do parrot chains work what can you use it for again the rules are you play nothing until you have a parrot and then once you have a parrot you're allowed one non-parrot and everything else has to be parrots so that's it once you have a parrot, you can have one thing that isn't a parrot, and then lots of parrots. Okay, get yourself headphones, people. Yeah, like, you know these aren't, like, great people in the first place. I swear it's not, um, there are some people that do bad, you know, quote-unquote bad things, and they may genuinely not realize that they're being awful people, or whatever. But, like, I feel like the people that do that are always, um, <laughs> not people I'd want to know. So parrot copies abilities from other parrots. Yes, it's based on attack order. So if you have your highest... Like, they always trigger in terms of whoever has the highest attack. So if you have your highest parrot copying the ability and then a smaller parrot behind that high attack parrot, then big parrot copies ability, smaller parrot copies ability from bigger parrot. So it does chain that way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say like 50 more seconds on this and then we can jump in. There's something horrible that Kino does and he's in complete denial about it. Is it not by selling a giraffe? Is that what this is, Robot Dog? <laughs> people who think they aren't doing anything wrong ever is awful to know. Oh god. I have not actually met people like that. I've seen stuff online about people like that, but I don't think I've met someone like that in person. I also just don't talk to people. Uh, anyway, I think we're good to go, so let's get into the lobby. Alright, welcome everyone. We are doing parrot chains only. Uh, the rules for this one, you're not allowed to play anything until you have at least one parrot. Once you have one parrot, you are allowed one of anything else you would like, and you can just keep stacking parrots on your team. 
So uh, the idea is once you have a parrot, you can have one thing at the front, then a chain of parrots behind it. And uh, yeah, you're allowed sloths, you're allowed any food. We are on the weekly, and I have not checked before we started, so I don't really know what's going to be good in here. But I'm looking forward to finding out, so <laughs> I wish everyone luck. Uh, I am debating whether I like go for a, I don't know, like save pigs for a combination, or if I should just like hard roll for a sloth. <laughs> no giraffe in the weekly, no. It's fine, I would have never bought it anyway. Anyway, I'm rolling. I want to roll for a soft, because it's been a long time since I've seen one, and I rarely, like, do roll for slots. It would be the Clumsy Piggies, because I love that name. You know, do the thing, roll for slots. Yeah. I'm down. I'll start, like, trying to freeze stuff, but, like, I don't know. I actually don't know what I'd go for. It'd be the smartest to do it on, like, tier 2. Well, it'd be the smartest to do it now, but, you know. <laughs> I think going for an owl combo could be cool, but again, like, it'd be pretty difficult to get three of those before you reach turn 4, tier 4. Come on, stop me. Never mind. I'll freeze the picks, because they have shown up again. Alright. And with 250 hours of play, I have only seen one sloth, and it was in a viewer lobby. I found my first one at about, like, 160 hours in, I think. And then for a while afterwards, I swear I was seeing it every, like, you know, 10 hours of game time or something. But, yeah, now I haven't seen one in a, a very long time again. Alright, good, good. Duckling or pig is good. Duckling won't work on turn 5. I mean, you won't be able to buy it on the same turn, yeah? Because like, if you had triple duckling, it's nine gold, you can you know, buy it all there. And uh, you'd have one gold left, if you sell it you get two back and you can buy your combo thing. But yeah, you'd have to freeze your new thing and roll wants to do it, so you'd have to save a turn. But yeah, let's try and find this last pig. Please. No pig? No pig, Mega Mind meme? Awesome, Kino vs. Sub fight. Oh wait, was I against Sub though? I missed it. I missed it. You found a sloth in a view lobby and accidentally rolled past it. Yeah, I think Alien Ox said that a minute ago too. I'm still very glad that I don't think I've done that myself. No way this man just said no pig Megamind meme. What? What's wrong with that? No, no crabs, please. One more. One more of these and I'll be not happy, but like, I'm not gonna complain. Too much. <laughs> Honestly, if I don't find it like near the start of the next one, I may just like unfreeze all these and start doom rolling again for sloths. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth like trying to freeze anything else. Like finding a uh, load of owls could be cool if you do find it. Okay, we've gone from sloth doom rolling to pig doom rolling. Look, I'm just a fan of doom rolling, okay? It sounds cool. Mm hmm. Well, there is a new slot open, so I'm twice as likely to find my pig. Let's continue with the pigs. Continue with the pigs. We're fine. There it is. Okay, so I can buy that next turn. <laughs> and I still have a chance to get an early parrot. Uh, I am now going to look at, like, everything that's in the pack to see what would actually be good. Like, Silver Fox could be interesting. Like, it's good for money, but it's not going to be great for other things. Zebra, not great. Sorry, not Zebra. <laughs> Zebra definitely not great, but Seal also not great. Uh, Vulture would almost be cool, but there's not like great summons. You can maybe popcorn it. But I don't think resummoning any of these really mean too much. Like a rooster could be cool. This is like the only other thing with like a meaningful combat ability. Has anyone got the parrots? Well, if they did, then we'll see it in this fight, but we won't be able to find out yet unless they say it in chat. Seven pound your third duckling, you're gonna give up. Yeah, like there's definitely a point where you shouldn't really look for it anymore. Like if I didn't have my other pig here, I'd probably just unfreeze and start rolling for the slots again. But we'll try and know that as a buffalo. So uh, yeah, roll for slots again. Why not? Okay. Oh yeah, let's see if um anyone found any parrots then. Not on the first turn. What happens if you put a whale in front of four parrots? 
So I've never actually done it, but I'm pretty sure it like... Actually, I think it used to bug out. I swear I remember there used to be an interaction where like, you could have something eat something and then something else eats that at the same time and then they both just disappear forever. What should happen is something should get eaten and then other thing eats the thing that ate the first thing and then it resummons the one that first got eaten. So you end up with like four things, default stats. But yeah, I actually don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it though. Buffalo and Parrot are basically the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll disagree on that one. Alright, so this is where we can actually find parrots. I'll be looking pretty hard. Hopefully it won't take me too long to find one. Please. Please, I need that green bird. I need him. Yes, it is the only green bird. Did anyone get one on the second turn? They did! Sub got one early one. And <laughs> it was the only one, okay. Uh, I need to debate though, because again, like... Reindeer is cool. Sabertooth could be really good if you scale them large. Uh, a walrus might be fine, actually. That could also be really good, because there's no pills, so it's not like you can use these without just keeping one on your team. So that could be okay, but also it's not guaranteed to hit the thing immediately behind it, so... It may be a bit wasted. <laughs> Pancake, thank you for the bits. School on Saturday. Oh no. I never had to go to Saturday school. The school I went to did have Saturday school, but they didn't have it for sixth form, and I only joined it for sixth form, so... Haha, <laughs> I avoided it. Can I... Yes, parrots. Okay. Uh, Well, I'm not copying any of these. I kind of want to freeze the owl, but we need something with an ability. Yeah, no, I'm not copying any of these. What else could I... No, okay, freeze, because I do want to buy, sell it. Enemy summoned to do that. Could help against this. <laughs> I like this. Like, this is allowed, but it's like... <laughs> it is odd. Yeah, I don't know. There are a lot of roosters. Sure, we'll take the flycatcher then. So, copy that, keep these. Uh, probably going to end up selling this next turn. I'm going to buy the owl first, then roll a bit, but, you know, obviously you have to sell it again by the end. You have two parrots, and the only ability in your shop is a whale. I mean, it doesn't have to have an ability. Like, you can't just buy something with big stats. If I wanted to, I could just have my, um, whatever it was, my owl at the front. Or at the back. It's all good. Roosters. Maybe rooster is the play. I'm not, like, I'm looking at these tier fives, and I'm not thinking any of those are much of an improvement, so... I'm going to buy sell this onto Parrot, though, because it effectively does the same thing, and, uh, you know, it's more permanent. I could try and level this, but I think I still want to pivot. Like, reindeer could be really cool later. Leopards could be good. Boars are not bad. Yeah, we want tier sixes. So keep this frozen, roll a few times, see if I can find another Parrot. Uh, well, I didn't, but this is still pretty cool. Come on, hit this. Yeah. Unfreeze that, too, like... I need to get some other things on these. You got a saber tooth tiger? I am very jealous. Assuming you have a parrot, anyway. <laughs> if you only have a saber tooth tiger and you don't have a parrot yet, then very sorry. Okay, GG sub. <laughs> Close game. Second parrot and loads of zebras. Oh, I can even, like, donut one of these, so I guarantee it gets all the stats instead of the rooster. I think I am on board with that. Let's put it on you, because I can maybe level that up. It probably makes more sense to throw. Uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Okay. Okay, and I can buy sell that one later. Same here. <laughs> That's a lot of donuts. Gonna leave these. And that actually screwed me over. Wait, I don't know which order this is going to go in now. I'm hoping they both get to copy. And they did, but it, I don't think it was guaranteed. If they have the same attack, then there's a chance this one would trigger first and copy an empty ability. What happens if a parrot copies a beluga and then eats food from a, sh from a fox? I assume it would work, and I actually have written that down to test at some point. But yeah, I, I don't actually know. Popcorn, it might just be worth having, honestly. So I'm less likely to like die in a fight, but... Let's get going with this. 
so silver fox vision, terrible. You could also maybe just like carrot this, start scaling it. Kind of prefer that. Let's be a bit greedy. Uh, walrus. <laughs> huh. I'd rather get like something else. Like this is probably better than the rooster, but I want to keep looking. Okay, see, these are both interesting. Same dude target could be good for a bit. What sort of teams are people running? Oh, but the reindeer makes the most sense. Let's freeze the reindeer. Okay. Ah, oh, let's go. Oh, my parrots copied your boar ability. Did they have, like, the same attack or something? Hey, I'll take that. You just went reindeer too? Yeah, reindeer seems like pretty solid. I don't know if I want to keep it forever, but like it's probably a bit better than my rooster. Assuming it doesn't get like insta sniped. And put this on there, because this thing's going to eat all my random stats anyway. This is you again. This is annoying. <laughs> I really wish I could buy sell the crow and buy chocolates and, you know, have the chocolate this turn and have another one ready for next turn, but I can't do that, so I guess I'll just do it this way. Damn, they really want me to have this. I wish I could just pill the Boris somehow, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be possible, so I'll have to pass on that. I need to be careful here as well, because this one is scaling. If this reaches 15 attack as well, then yeah, could cause some problems. Need to make sure I buy sell this next turn. You bought two zebras, the buff got perfectly distributed, now all of your parrots have the same attack. Oh no. Genuinely like a nightmare in this. Hey. Very sorry, I just had the larger parrots. I think I killed him though, and I feel kind of bad about that. Alright. No. Yes, 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 yes. All of these things. Yes to everything. <laughs> Uh, do I want this? I probably want this. If I'm buying owls, I should probably buy pairs. Like, it's it's obviously one extra gold compared to these, but, you know, if I have to roll just to find an owl, then it's, you know, same value, plus I get to choose where this goes. Instead of it being locked onto my middle dude. Let's see, though. The seal choice. That is interesting. Still a lot of roosters. Yeah, tons of roosters. Seeing a lot of these as well. I think Ball could be really good if it gets large enough to like stomp some of these teams. But I'm not convinced. I may end up trying to pivot to the leopard teams though. Oh, that was... I mean, it's a win. <laughs> it is a win, but I didn't like having to like triple trade into that guy. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Do I want to, what, buy pair? Maybe I don't. Like, if I buy sell this, then it's so weird. Well, that's happening either way. Maybe I do just, like, buy sell crow, buy the chocolates, and buy the parrots. And just ignore this for now. I think I'm okay with that. Can't roll anymore, but I'm fine with that. This is going okay. Sub has the same team as you, but three more hearts. Is it a good team? I didn't think that, like, a single team would be the best for scaling, but... And this doesn't work either, does it? Like, you don't need to be scaling with this one. I don't think it, like, copies end of turn abilities and then uses an end of turn ability. Carrot's <laughs> actually good right now. I mean, it's good with this team. If I'm using this to replace, uh, my equipment, then yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Suva. That was, like, a hard counter. But yeah, I may pivot away from this and instead do leopard scaling. A. I am tempted. I don't think I'd do it yet. Actually, maybe I leave it while I continue scaling. Because it's not amazing yet. Like this would be like a five damage snipe and then a you know, a couple of twelves and uh, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. But like maybe it'll break people up enough. I feel like it's not worth it yet. I don't buy the leopard yet, but maybe later. Another parrot, excellent. Soft ice isn't terrible. Although I, I still want to space open, so I don't know if I um 
I might just stack that. Keep it frozen. It is <laughs> a bit late for it now. Right now, I feel like this is doing good work for me, so I, I didn't want to freeze it for ages. Tiger full parrots. Yeah, yeah. Definitely the move. And that was a lot of trades. Okay, so I am more than happy to buy sell this. And I may just buy the parrot and buy the soft dice, and then I can combine those later if I need. But this turn is um, obviously better to have more things. Although, they may not actually work. I'm freezing this one. Next turn, I may try the pivot. Like, this is going great at the moment. Also, I was lucky. This did manage to copy the ability, I think. Yeah, it just depends on how much damage I can do. If I can kill these backliners early, then it might be really good. It's kind of scary against this, but... Yeah, I don't know. I need more stats. Because there's not a ton of great buy-sell stuff in here. It's just like Owl and uh, Zebra, really. So then I'd have to scale more with, like, buying food. I don't know, maybe I do just, like, stick carrots on everything and keep the theme I have. Oh my god, so many summons. Yeah, we're good. We're not good, we are good! It was exact! Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Couldn't find any leopards and boar is pretty bad. Yeah, I, I can see boar being bad. It looks like these might be popping off at some point. I can see leopards popping off if they get, like, very large. There are a lot of leopard teams. And this guy just seems good by himself. Like, <laughs> just being able to summon a 24-24 whenever he takes damage is, like, insane. I, I just don't know. I don't know what to do here. Just buy this. Keep rolling. I will freeze both of these. I think I try and pivot. I think I do sell this and then we uh, do the leopards. Honestly, having my leopard at level 2 won't mean too much because it's going to be so small. Like, it's going to be like an extra 5 damage snipe or something, but it's worth freezing. Might stop my buy selling, so. Sabertooth for the leopard counter. I mean, I just need to hope that all the Sabertooth teams like, die off early because there's only like one left, right? Two of them. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, I just can't tell what to do. Just pump these with stats. I don't think I've seen another carrot either. Like, I was trying to look out for them, but... Okay. Alright, well, next turn then. <laughs> next turn, we are going for the leopards. And hopefully it will work. Buffalo isn't it. Can I ask why you went for... The buffalo. Because, like, you can't... It doesn't do anything, right? You just end up having one massive thing and all your parrots don't do anything. Robot dog. Language. <laughs> I don't think it's worth buying them yet. Like, I'll buy them next turn, but... Right now, like, are you seeing the fights? Like, getting melon armor on these every time is absolutely huge. Oh yeah, I don't know if I beat this team. Like, I'm not beating it anyway, but I don't know if I'd win against that if I had leopards. Like, I may just end up dying. Yeah, I just need to get, like, popcorn and everything, because there isn't protective equipment. But let's, let's try. I want to see it pivot. And hey, I can even level my other guy back here. Alright. Well, there we go. I'm committed. <laughs> Everything's still in the same order. You shouldn't have gotten rid of your level 3 rooster. You got rid of it? What was it losing to? God, there are so many of these teams. Leopards really are everywhere. Yeah, even, <laughs> even subs on it now. What happened here? How did you get a 50-50 and like a 40-40? I am very afraid. That will like stomp half my team. Ooh, similar team, except they have popcorn and I do not. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright. I need to buy these. This is the only way I get, like, stats. So, uh... 
There's one here, I guess. I see these. Maybe freeze them. I could always like combine that in one of those, and then when I find another parrot, it might be worth taking. Going to leave chili, because it's not what I want. Pez. I'd rather find soft ice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, I got a load of stuff I can buy sell. I'd rather only do this after I find another parrot, but... I may do it anyway, because like, this is just free money and some cheap stats. Might be worth trying. Somebody counted you with potatoes. I didn't even realize potatoes were in here. That is not a terrible idea. Honey would have been worth it. A again, it's a matter of, sure, it's worth it, but why buy honey if on the next roll I just find, like, non-stop popcorn? Like, I don't want honey, I want different foods. I'm kind of waiting for that. But then, then I end up getting distracted by, like, actual... by other stuff. Hey, I had the stats. I could live... <laughs> not a leopard. So I can't like combine there and end on a second leopard because then it's like full house stuff instead. But uh, I think this is where I start doing some other stuff. So I'd rather level one of these. I'm not going to stack down the small one because one of these at level three would mean a lot more. So let's get started with that. And maybe I just run the four squad? Like I still want both of these. Yeah, okay. I want to do that, but this is my only one that I can, like, hit with buy-sell stuff. Sure. We just we just need the biggest snipes. I'll take it. I really didn't lose much by losing that, like, backline parrot, by the way, because it was... It may have soaked up an enemy snipe or something, but its own snipe was only, like, two damage, so... You know, I lost, like, 6-6 six, six worth of stats or something, and, you know, I obviously gained a lot more than that, so... Hopefully it won't matter too much. And it looks like it did, because I did not summon anything. Okay. Bye. Still looking for popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, thank you. On here first, definitely. Although I will buy sell that to start. Okay. Alright, we're still good. Yeah, the enemy puts up a parrot switch. There's some popcorn, and this is going to get spicy. I mean, there's a lot of teams just full of uh, popcorn parrots. A handful of teams. <laughs> kind of jealous of, like, multiple carrot teams as well. I know I was looking for them for a long time, and then I can't remember if I've been skipping them now. Because, like... Ooh. Uh... Yeah, that's bad. Okay, 1 HP. I can beat this, I swear. I just need more stuff. This is another thing I will take. Alright. Uh, that is also a level up. I'm going to leave this, because, I don't know, I could throw it on there and it's not too bad, but... This has to happen. And I was hoping for a leopard there. Yeah, we just roll. I'm just hoping I'm not dead. I, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's worth taking a pair anymore. Like, it'd be so much better just to, like, level something. I will definitely take another popcorn, though, like... Probably time to put it on there. Like, I like the buy-selling, but it doesn't have to be targeted on here anymore, and it's already very, very large. Nkoti, hello! I'm doing okay. Chili instead of donuts? No. Actually, it actually wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, it could be def It definitely could be pretty good against those, uh, you know, random summon teams. But that's only assuming it actually lives. And, like, it's barely living in half these fights. Okay, I'm dead. Next up, B, you got me. Sub is still max HP, damn. Well, GG's, GG's.